My friends, I got a bizarre Mandela effect. I mean, this is hilarious. There are actually several uh, Mandela effects that are actually kind of funny because your God and your creator has a sense of humor, okay? This one was very interesting because this has to do with toilet paper. One of the first things I noticed when I became a uh, Mandela effect awake was the toilet paper sizes. Now, this makes sense, and in, in, in a minute I'll explain to you why that makes so much sense that your creator would do toilet paper. Because I was like, you know, this new world, I saw a lot of changes. You know, we saw many things, you know, Berenstein, Berenstein Bears, all these things, right? And everything's just modifying around us and history being rippled and all these other things. But one of the things I noticed, because I noticed the sun, like in the sun was, uh, used to be yellow, it's white, and all these other things, right? Just goes on and on. Everything around the streets, the street lights. I'm driving down the road and saying, why is it not green, yellow, and red? Green at the top and red at the bottom. Why is it upside down? I said, my goodness, what is going on here? So anyway, not all of this, because we know about a lot of Mandela effects. This has to be with toilet paper. So I'm going to tell, you know, back in this around 2015, uh, fall 2016, when I came to Mandela Effect Wake, that I noticed the toilet paper was different. And I'm like, what? What's going on with this toilet paper? I kid you not. And the width. It was the width. And <laughs> the width of toilet paper was way, you know, if you've used toilet paper your entire life, which all of us has, I noticed the width was off. I'm like, man, this width is way shorter. What's going on here? I was like, you know, what's going on? Why is the width of toilet paper shorter? And so I started to notice, I thought, well, maybe it was just some of the places I was going to, you know, some of the ones like, you know, some of the restaurants or you know, fast food chains. And then pretty soon I noticed everywhere, even from the uh, National Forest Parks, the toilet paper, they were using those, uh, you know, in the, <laughs> in the outhouses to everywhere. The toilet paper width was shorter. I mean, the width was shorter. And I said, what is going on here? Well, here's the thing is, you got to realize if you're going to send a message to awaken people about the Mandela effect or changes in history, that would be a prime example right there because people something you use every day. Every day you're using that now. So I'm thinking, wow, that was a great message, a great awakening because, you know, the toilet paper. And so it's kind of funny to think about it. So to kind of sit that out because it did actually click on my brain. I said, why is it with this toilet paper different? I noticed that like even the people's behaviors are different, and all these things are just everywhere. Even the, you know, the songs being changed. But then the toilet paper, I was like, hmm, whoa, this must be a Mandela effect. So, uh, so, so I did some little research, and I'm hoping this keeps in recording because I don't know when I minimize. Well, I actually think it, I think it, I think I can't minimize. Sorry, I usually do better recordings and show you uh, things from Wikipedia and all these other places, but. Uh, Tonight it's, it's late, and I just want to get this now out there. So you can do a quick browse yourself on the internet, looking up toilet paper sizes. But see, it's very interesting because they back to the story. Even you have this, um, you got this backstory where I looked it up. It said that the average standard for toilet paper used to be four, four inch, four dot, four point five length and four dot five width. It used to be a perfect square, a toilet paper square. But now it says it changed. Uh, you know, back, it said some, the dates are like, you know, 2008 or nine that some of the toilet paper changed to uh, where it's only uh, a half, four inches on the width. And also the, uh, the length had changed to uh, like, you know, four and like a quarter or something like that. So even though length is actually shortened, by the way, on the toilet paper, and that makes me wonder if they actually get the same, uh, you know, the same amount of toilet paper when you buy it in the stores. I don't know because they've actually changed the length and the width. And it's strange because it used to be old standard. So, you know, it's kind of, it's, so like I said, backfills in it. What's really interesting, the Wikipedia article, it's, you know, it gave a date like around 10 days and it said that later, it changed like uh, the width was, uh, no, the length changed to like four and a quarter or something. But then it says, and it was just even further to uh, a little bit more. And then it says, but they never put in a date of when that changes. So remember they, the story always gets backfilled in this reality. The backfields tries to adjust the history to match, uh, to make it kind of you know cover the uh, Mandela effect, uh, you know, of what's going on. So anyway, toilet paper width is so. Give me a thumbs up or a comment uh, if you agree that the toilet paper <laughs> has changed and you noticed it, or thumbs down that it did not change in your reality. Now what's actually interesting too is I'll be quick on this and even. Uh, Predictive program, remember they had the toilet paper with uh, Trump symbol on it that was released, I think it was six months to a year before the uh, Jabba Jabba Rue and the uh, the vacuum. Uh, the, the, I see, I have to use uh, this because I've been too many strikes and hits just by even mentioning words. So I don't want to tell you those, you know, the 
the Jabba Jabba Roos and also the big uh, Mascherona. The Mascherona, uh, you know what I mean? The big, uh, the, the uh, scan, the scandemic, okay? Before the scandemic came along, um, right, right before it was already there in front of our face, particularly even on the toilet paper. So anyway, they had his photo. You can look that up, that image is crazy. I mean, look up uh, Trump uh, toilet paper. So they're already telling us, you know, and then there's a run on the toilet paper shortage, right? So anyway, um, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so you got to remember, uh, there is, your, your creator does have a sense of humor. It's a serious game out there. If you're not with God, the creator, and the Lord, and the angels on the right side of this game, uh, you're in a nightmare. You are in a nightmare. I mean, so you got to get out at nightmare. You got to wake up. See, that's why it's a nightmare. You got to wake up. So, uh, but if you're with God, the Lord, and angels, it's it's almost comical. Now we treat it's a serious game out there we got going on here because we're all trying to keep our sanity and understand our reality and stuff like this. But once you get it, your fear goes away, um, you know, and you just realize that uh, oh, it's just bliss. It's uh, it's just so much more. I'm so much relaxed now to understand uh, what's happening in our reality. It just made me so much calmer, and I finally just let it go. And like the Lord told me, sir, the Lord told me one time, he says, "Let it go, Kirk." And I'm letting that go too, giving it to them, and just uh, just relaxing, right? And it's, I'm going to do my mission, do my job, whatever to do my role I need to do. But exactly, and uh, it's stressful sometimes because I want to make sure I'm on the right mission and doing it, what I need to do, and and constantly communicating when I need to, and things like that. But in the overall picture, uh, I have no fear. I don't worry so stress so much about the next uh, distraction and some of the brothers and sisters out there that's worrying about every single thing, you know, the food shortage, this, that, this, that, all these distractions. And remember, God is going to take care of us. Our Creator is going to take care of you. Uh, we got to do our part. You know, we got to be use our head. And uh, the world's insane. It is insane. I'm sorry. That's one thing I do got to bring up this thing. I cannot believe how the insanity, how mad. Like uh, Alice in the Wonder Hand, we're all mad here. Oh my goodness! I mean, everybody I'm contacting or working with now, I'm seriously. Now we all have our issues, but these people are insane. I don't want to offend some brothers and sisters out there. We got some Mandela Effect brothers and sisters and other ones that are, seem to be 100% with uh, our Creator, you know, on the right stuff, but they have mental issues themselves. I'm like thinking to myself, my goodness, why are the mental issues so intense? We're talking every every rainbow of mental issues from depression to uh, anxiety to even drama can be an issue of addiction. Addicted to drama, addicted to this game, to this life. Uh, an addiction is can, can consider mental illness. And I'm just like, my goodness, how many left of us actually have a sanity, are, are level-headed, and just uh, have that balance? Because it seems like it seems like one or the other. It's like you, you're with the Creator and you're insane. No, I don't mean that. Or just very spiritual you're spiritual and you're insane and it's driven you to that because of the all the problems not mentally just the things you had to deal with or your uh your what well, i said the other side that is you're sane and with spiritual but that's a rare combination i'm seeing that concerns me so why may some brothers and sisters pray for them to get over these uh issues i mean i know we all battle them i mean i battle you know, uh, loneliness and other things, and uh, and I've been down that road of depression in my past, but no longer. So, um, just depressed and disappointed and everything. So, let's you know, we all need to be on that same page, uh, using sanity and uh, spiritual with our Creator and stuff. I mean, it's just, I mean, what a mess. I mean, it's seriously, every look, like everywhere from the. You know, you can't pick up an article about somebody you thought was really awesome, like uh, some character uh, idler in a newspaper, and find out they had some kind of issues they're battling, like everybody else. You know, I'm just I'm not talking to big ones. Just talking about just general people we look at. I mean, I mean seriously. I mean, I used to have like even a lot of respect for Bill Cosby, not judging him. Then I found out he's he's got all those issues, and I think some of those are real that they exposed. And because I used to think this guy was a great guy, he had a high intellect. Uh, things like that. I'm not judging him. I'm not judging him. I'm just saying, I'm just using him as an example. And then also that uh, even friends and family that I, that I knew that very closely, they'll there's some kind of background thing that's like really that's that's factual that they're battling some kind of uh, issue. 
Now, also, you got to remember, too, even the general population is people that think they're sane. They're actually insane and, and not trying to insult them. But look around. They're totally insane, these people. They're trapped in a human prison bar. They're trapped in a system, and they follow this insanity system. The saying was designed for just corruption, uh, mutual absurd distractions. just blows your dang mind, right? And so what I said with that is, too, is that, you know, uh, just seeing the general population, that depression is... Uh, is one of the uh, hard thing for these people to, to deal with this in this hell hole we're living in. Because the prescription is, I can't remember something about one time, I can't remember, it's like the second prescribed drug. It's pushing like 60 to 80% of something behind birth control or something, you know, birth control pills and high blood pressure medication. It's right at the top. So we have a ton of people, and I had relatives that didn't know they're on antidepressants, and they, they came and said, hey man, I'm on antidepressants. Oh, really? Not saying, you know, that's, that's um, you know, Something to deal with, but that's not a long-term solution, by the way, either. So, depressants are not a long-term solution. And I think our creator provided many other ways, you know, exercise, diet, and also sometimes, like, lithium or just even the chemical imbalances can help you, uh, you can, uh, to bring that depression out. And also, the way you think, you know, focus, biofeedback's real, you know, focus on positive things and try to, that's my no, my no motto, Told my mother, I said, I am so tired of hearing about drama and negatives from some of our brothers and sisters, great people. I'll be the support them as friends, but I said, I'm just done. I'm done with it. I cannot take the drama, the, the BS, and, uh, and, and then you know how they're creating their own situations even. But they're feeding that negativity. And, and uh, I was just like, I, I've been on the phone today with like two or three of uh, uh, very close friends that are, uh, you know, they're spiritual and loving and caring and with us but i'm just like i can't take it i said you know what and i just got to stay away from your drama because i said you know let's feed the positive things so what you feed is what you can get back we have energy because we have limited time and we have limited energy so let's give energy to those positive things we can you know we don't ignore the negative stuff but we just keep feeding positivity and just you know just drop what's out that was negative because i had to hear a story about going on for three days from one of our sisters about something about some guy and it's a, it got physically dangerous for her. Um, it actually involved even a, a choking, which is scary. And I told her, forgive him and then move on, get him out of there, get out, get away from him. And so she's going on, should I, shouldn't, should I forgive him, all these other things. I said, just forgive, move on, just treat him, just move on, get away from him, just move on. So that's what I mean, just move on, <laughs> put it in the past, you know, just stop and correct, you know, realign yourself with your friends and whatever you need to do, right? Sorry not to battle with that, but we're just seeing so much that now, okay? All right, uh, God bless you and love you all. Take care.